All right, hello again everyone. Um, in this short lesson, I'm going to show you how you can go from the workflow that you can use to go from After Effects to Premiere Pro. So what you would use After Effects for is basically um, to work on individual film clips for export into Premiere Pro. Um, once upon a time ago, I can't spell Premiere, there we go. Once upon a time ago, we would use to have to um, render out our video clip and then and then open it up as a clip in Premiere Pro but recently Adobe's created this nice little workflow uh, between a lot of their programs or most of their programs really where you can actually just drag and drop the sequence uh, the composition that I created in After Effects and straight into Premiere Pro. And what I can do is then I can swing back and forth between After Effects and Premiere Pro and I can update the video clip and it will automatically update in my in um, Premiere Pro. So again, you would be using After Effects to work on individual clips, um, do your special effects or whatever it is you're doing, and then you would put them in a sequence in the timeline in Premiere Pro to add to your movie. Okay, well, let's turn that down. Um, now, what I've done is um, this um, video clip, this sequence that I'm working on in Premiere Pro has nothing to do with um, my After Effects composition. It's just it's just for an example. This is just some um, the alien invasion collages that my year nines recently did that I put together to make a little slideshow for them to see. So I hope they, they're going to enjoy that. All right, look, this is really easy. You just need to make sure, all right, that you finished in After Effects and you must save, okay? If you haven't saved, it's not gonna work. So quickly do a Command S. Uh, I've already saved mine. Let's swing back over to Premiere Pro. What I'm gonna do is I am going to, just like I would import any other asset in here, um, I'm just going to get my project, okay, where all my assets are. I'm gonna double click in here and I need to find my After Effects composition. So it will be in my documents and After Effects, disintegration, and this is the one I was working on and import. Okay, now you'll get a little dialog box that comes up and it'll ask you to import After Effects composition. It's got a little folder there. There's your composition there. That's the name of it. I haven't named mine appropriately, but that will do for the sake of this. Click OK. And, and now you can see my film clip, um, my After Effects composition is an asset and all I could I can preview it if I want to, as I normally would, and I can treat it as I would any other video clip or image or, P or title that I use in Premiere Pro. Okay, drag and drop it in. It comes in with the audio as well. And now, oh, it's coming quite small, so, which is, not really matching the settings of my sequence, but that's okay. What I'll do is I might lose a bit of quality here on the background image, but I've got a blurred anyway, so it should be okay. I'm just gonna select the film clip. I'm going to go into the motion tab, which is already open for me, and I'm gonna scale it up so that it fits my window. There we go. And I've just got my viewed or quarter. I'm gonna press play with a space bar. And there it is. Now it's lagging because it's rendering, but that's okay. You get the idea. All right, that's how easy it is. Now, the good thing is, what I can do is say I want to, um, I need to make a change to that film clip. I've already got it in After Effects or in Premiere Pro. If I don't have After Effects open, um, I can right click this film clip and you can go to Edit Original. Okay, and if you do that, it's going to open up After Effects, and then what you can do is then you can just um, change it. So I'm just going to, I'll just give you an example. I'll just take out the background, and if I go back to Premiere Pro, it automatically updates for you. So that is a very, very cool feature that Adobe has with and a nice workflow between Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. So thanks for watching.